he can, and this little girl is dyslexic. Wow. How about the Sea of Strength model? Explain ah, that to us. Okay. Well, the Sea of Strength grew out of our increased understanding of what dyslexia is all about. And what it is, it's not only a reading problem. It's a whole way of thinking, a good way of thinking. Mm -hmm. So what we have developed... I think we have a, a shot of the Sea of Strengths model. Can we bring that up on the screen? There we go. Thank yeah. you. So the way uh, we conceptualize the Sea of Strengths, and that's um, discussed in my book, Overcoming Dyslexia, is there's an encapsulated weakness so that the person reads slowly. Neurobiologically, they can't help it. Their brain is wired that mm -hmm. way. But at the same time, those that weakness is surrounded by a sea of strengths in higher level thinking and, and reasoning. So for example, reasoning, concept formation, creative thinking, problem solving, critical thinking, all these higher level skills, people who are dyslexic have them to mm -hmm. an extraordinary degree. We never measure them in school. So, so the goal is to identify the weakness, yep. identify the strengths, mm -hmm but remediate the weakness, okay. but it makes sure the person who's dyslexic okay. can access those strengths.